Okay, okay. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to do a update lah for today for you all. Although I don't think it should be updated, but yeah. Stocks wasn't getting any rest lah from the oil prices and the high treasury yield. The stocks came down. And if I think the third one come up again, uh, come down again, uh, or say flat, uh, then you can be sure that it's forming a lower high. La. Oh, this one cannot be doubted anymore. Right. Mm. A lot of technicians say still can go up, but I don't know la, this part. I am not an expert in the uh, technical that one. Okay. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that it is still in an upwards pattern. Uh. The channel is still upwards. It just made this one like that. Okay. But this looks like a slanted, uh, slanted head and shoulders pattern. If we follow the pattern, uh, it is most likely that it's going to drop until this line here. Or in the middle here uh, somewhere like that. Okay. So I think uh, this one will drop until 430 la. If we if we still uh, following the pattern And it is good if it does drop there Then it will stay stagnant for a while Sideways for a while But it's still going up I think, I think that is the main take of the thing Okay Now fundamentally things are not so good la. Okay uh, This one we already know Oil prices and Uh Treasury yields, right? The ten-year treasury yields, they are going up. Okay, so I think you all should uh, watch lah the treasury yield every day lah. Okay, and I think I made a video that time. Uh, why treasury yield the six month and one month is going to outperform your performance in S and P five hundred. Okay, and yeah, I did that because uh, they are attaching a twenty-seven percent growth in the earnings for S and P. Okay, and for SPY, that's why it's very tough lah to beat the five and a half percent. Okay, then again, then again, doesn't mean overpriced stuff cannot be more overpriced. Okay, <coughs> overpriced things can be even more overpriced. Okay, that is the fun part about the market, right? So I'm gonna teach you a, a secret method. Lah. Okay, I learned this from my uh, younger son. My younger son, ever since he was young, uh, he's very smart. Uh. Oh. Smart and very smart. Uh. In a certain, in a different way, uh, I guess. So, uh, He's, when he was still a uh, very small, I think, uh, he likes to eat a lot, uh, like his dad. So we bought this uh, sugary bread, uh, right? And uh, when he was young, his mom told him, don't eat uh, in the car, okay? Yeah, but I only eat a bit, okay? Then the mom keep quiet, then he eat a bit, he eat a bit, he eat a bit, he eat a bit, okay? Then uh, the mom saw him still eating. Hey, why are you still eating? Ah? Stop it. Lah. You say a bit only. Yeah, yeah. It's only a bit. A bit, bit again. Only a bit, 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 bit. Okay, then the mom get quiet. Then after that, after we came home, we realized that he finished the whole bread already. The whole sugar bread, he finished it. Then we were like, huh? Okay. How did he do it? Bit by bit. Nah. He really eat it bit by bit. Okay. And... I believe uh, that is the best approach uh, to approach the stock market also, bit by bit. Okay. Doesn't mean you do it every day, lah. Right? Doesn't mean you do it every day. Okay. So what I mean is, look at Meta. I think at two hundred fifty, we all know that this is a decent value already. If you bought at two hundred, uh, like me, uh, and you don't have the conviction, uh, you would have been scared out at $100 you sold. Right? Because you lost 50% already. But since 
we know the valuation. Uh. We are not like the AMC AMC guys. Uh. We are not the AMC people. We are not the AMC. We are not the GameStop guy who anyhow buy. Uh. We know the valuation. We know that this guy is this thing is worth something. We know this has a modes. Uh, we know that uh, TikTok is a different market. It's catering to a different market. And also, even there's a, that market is going to be competed on uh, by the reels, right? Since we know all these, lah, okay. But the news always say it's bad. Meta is bad. Meta is bad. Meta is bad. Articles in Seeking Alpha say Meta is lousy. Meta is lousy. But we still hold on, lah, right? So I keep buying, 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 buying all the way, lah. Okay. So what is the the key? Uh? I think the key is very simple. Uh. Just buy a little bit, buy a little bit, buy a little bit, buy a little bit, buy a little bit as it goes down. Right. That's what I feel. Uh, right. If you want to be able to stay in the game, just buy a little bit of it. But you're not going to earn a lot. You are not going to earn a lot. Uh. That's because you already have the set, right? That one. You have the set portion, maybe. In other words, you have cap, uh, you have risk controls. Maximum one stock, how much? Ten percent of your portfolio, right? So if your one stock go bankrupt due to accounting uh, shenanigans, uh, let's say they bluff the accounting, no no money inside the company bank one, they bluff the the auditor also bluff. Uh, can happen, right? Master Leong say happened to him before. That one, yeah, sway lo. One if accounting fraud cannot say anything lah. Okay. Actually, this one looks more like a double top. Eh. Yeah, it looks more like a double top. Ah. So basically, what's the what is the secret to this? Okay, you just buy a little bit when it goes down here below here. Buy a bit, 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 buy a bit. Okay, that's it, right? That's how you make money, right? <coughs> buy a little bit as it goes down, so that you have you. It won't be so pain uh, that you it hurts you. You see your account every day, shit lose money, shit lose money, shit lose money. Then you stress. Uh. Oh. If you buy a little bit of this, if you buy a little bit of that, then you won't lose a lot of money, one, right? Cannot be all your stocks go down in one day, lah. Very, very, very hard one, la. It's very hard one la, for things to happen, right? <laughs> or you buy the SPY, lo, the index, lo, buy the index. It's also very hard for the index to all to to go down so much in one day. Okay. Even SE drop thirty percent, ah, that one, ah, I think is quite scary to a lot of people. Not many people can tahan the the SE thirty percent, the the gyro, the roller coaster. Okay. Uh. Yeah, not many people can tahan. Ah. SPY, I think can tahan more. Lah. That's why I think Mister Lu recommended it. Lah. It looks like a should, yeah, it looks like a. I think it's a head and shoulders. Uh, the shoulder here, head here. This is the second. This is the second shoulder. So if this is correct, then it's good. Well, uh, this one is cannot be a shoulder. It looks a bit weird. That would be a shoulder. Too short, uh. The shoulder is here, but or here. But this is a slanted head and shoulders. It's still very bullish though. So this one will come down until here, following this line. Uh. Okay. I assume somewhere here lah, 433 is going to come down there. Okay. Now I'm not going to say anything about the insurance part when the Adam Koo tell you to sell put options then the thing come down then you angry with Adam Koo. Then well, I promote myself, no lah. Because the thing is, uh, you never know what's going to happen in the market. You cannot act as if you know what's going to happen. Right, you cannot act as if you know what's going to happen. The moment you act as if, ah, surely go up, surely or oh, surely go up, something will whack you one. Okay, 
So now the fundamental, even the fundamental I see uh, is going to be bad. Why? Crude oil 87, 88. Crude oil above 83, la, I say it's very bad really. 10 year bond above 4.2 is very bad really. 4 actually is very bad really. Okay, so I don't really see it though. Why did the VIX come down? Uh? The VIX went up, uh, never come down. I don't think the landing is going to be quite soft. Uh. I think it's going to be quite tough, uh, the landing. Okay. So I think now uh, a lot of stocks are going to be wet for the next thing. And I think this is one of the times uh, for us uh, to actually earn big when the, all the stocks come down. Okay, I already talked about this yesterday. That was going to give you a bonus. I forgot to give you the bonus. Okay, if economy is going to be bad, uh, who is going to earn? Uh, I think Geo will be earning quite a lot of money. Lah. Why, why, why Geo? Geo is a private prison. Uh, this one. This one is, pol is a cyclical, political cyclical stock. If Republican win, uh, this one can go up to $12. If Democrat win, yeah, maybe go down to $5, but or just stay the same. Okay, that basically, but this, one, this guy can survive. La. It's not like for sure that I want la, this guy. Okay, this guy can survive. La. Okay, it can survive. La. It's not like, ah, oh, should I know? La. Oh. So this guy can survive, I think, but if that one, then can go up. Okay. Income statement, why is it so bad? Uh? It's about the same, uh, the operating income. Yeah, it's still about the same. No, no difference. It's quite stable, 39, 39, 39, 39. So 20 cents, uh, 19 cents, 80 cents. Uh. 80 cents, that means it's trading less than uh, 10 PE. This is cheap. Uh. Okay, but this is political cyclical lah. Uh. If this one uh, go up uh, to 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 Republicans win, uh, they gonna open up all the contracts again to Geo. Then Geo is gonna earn a lot of money. Okay, uh, Democrats is like that. They don't like to imprison people. They want to let people the criminals. They want to be lenient on the criminals because the criminals, these people, this. Uh, Lower, lower, lower bracket income. They actually vote for Democrats. Okay, they want the votes, lah. Basically, politics is like that. It's easier to get the ma you want to get the majority of the uh, voices, of the votes. So you want to support the poor people, the poorer people. Because they are more poorer people than rich people, very little rich people. You don't need to support rich people because rich people only one voice. Cannot be ten or twenty voices. Okay. So what am I looking at? Uh Macy's is dropped to ten dollars is actually quite cheap. Eh? Right? The PE ratio is already four. Okay. I don't expect the results to be good lah, for the whole uh, that one. Macy's is a very hodgepodge <laughs> retailer kind of thing. Uh. Very hodgepodge. Uh. Now US uh, wow, is really uh, experiencing this very drastic increase in crime. I think the GEO and the CXW eventually they're going to earn. I think later, no matter what, they are going to up it lah. They're going to increase the. In other words, the states are going to renew the. They're gonna make contracts again with Geo and CXW. In other words, the district attorneys they're gonna prosecute it. Because if they never prosecute the Democrats, uh, later cannot win it because it's so bad uh, the, the 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 robberies are so bad uh, If if they don't like that, I think it's gonna be more worse for them uh, for the Democrats. Okay, so they are going to start prosecuting it. They're going to start putting in jail. Then later the jail is going to be full. Uh. 
they're gonna make they're gonna have to eventually they're kind of gonna bow down to pressure and they, either they buy from geo or they rent from geo the building so it's gonna be a renter not gonna be an operator okay they're not gonna you got two choice you can rent the jail the prison or you can ask them to operate okay so the controversy is because geo is operating Okay, that controversy is very easy. You rent low, right? You rent me like a rate low. No need to. I don't need to operate for you, right? Okay, but either way, I I don't think it's actually quite good also to 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 actually uh, operate private prison. I think it should be state, right? I don't know why. That's why I a bit blurry. This this whole thing, prison can be private. I blurry, but yeah, I don't know. I don't care, di lah. Okay. Uh, AT and T is not a buy for me, but a lot of dividend stocks now gaining power. A lot of people want to buy dividend stocks. I don't know why. A lot of people expect the Fed to actually lower the rates next year. You gotta have a recession first, then the Fed will lower the rates. If there's no recession. The Fed is not going to lower the rates. Everybody say this year no recession, but then ah, uh, eventually, when you say no recession this year, there is more likely chance you can ah this year. Okay, because this kind of thing will happen when you don't expect it. It's not you expect to happen then it will happen one. Okay. Uh, jobless claims we know about this lah. They keep revising it up. Eh, the job job the job numbers ah, uh, the job openings. Revising it down, sorry, they revise down the job openings. Uh. So, like that, how job openings cannot revise, oil go go up like that, and the economy is worsening. That's good, lah, in a sense, right? Because we want the economy to go down, uh, to tighten a bit. We don't want the economy to become too hot. This one, I think, we already talked about this long ago. It's gonna, it's 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 gonna be like that. I I I I really don't know why. Uh, people still so. Uh, yeah. We are definitely going to slide into a recession. It's a matter of when, okay. That's it, lah. I think I don't want to talk too much about the other stuff. <coughs> yeah, Piloton came down. Yeah, who cares? Mm -hmm. We know about all this stuff already, lah. Nothing, nothing, nothing much to see, lah. I don't see anything much to see already. Ah, Palantir. I think Palantir. I did a DCF before, you know. And my valuation is quite low. Open. Yeah, it's about fifteen bucks, lah. My this is this is very, 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 very optimistic valuation, ah. Uh, the free cash flow margin is forty percent, ah, right. And I think the dilution, yeah, the dilution is assumed to be to stop, lah, at the two thousand thirty. Nine seven eight point six seven. I we don't know whether this one is going to be like that or not. And yeah. Fifteen bucks lah. This is my base scenario. Fifteen bucks, yeah. But the free cash flow margin must be forty percent lah and above. I don't know whether can not. They can make the free cash flow margin so high not. Uh, sales growth gonna be seventeen percent all the way. Okay, so yeah, it's about there lah. And yeah, hopefully they can reduce the amount of uh, dilution lah. But 
The buybacks are actually quite bad. Uh, they are buying it at expensive prices. They didn't buy before when it was cheap. So this is liquid NAV. You add the intrinsic value of the thing, you get about 15 bucks. Uh. Okay. The discount factor 7.5%, I think is quite normal. Uh. Right. Perpetual growth rate is 8%. Uh. I don't know whether can grow perpetually 8%. Uh. Maybe 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 should lower it a bit after 10 years. Uh. Maybe 4%. Uh. Well, 4% <laughs> drop $9.48 AD. Uh, perpetual growth rate, that means uh, after 2030, uh, how is the thing going to grow? La? Basically, that is the, 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 the question. La. The FCF. Uh, uh, how? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe 8 low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 8 there, you get $15 low. So this one is the perfect lah. That means you assume that it's gonna grow forever eight percent I don't know whether that's possible or not. It's quite tough, there, I think. Unless they find some kind of uh, they make they build some kind of AI architecture. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough. Uh. It's really gonna be tough, uh, really. Uh. Oh, this guidance don't follow. You follow my this guidance. Uh. This is the latest, latest number, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. Uh, the growth rate slow down uh, uh, for Palantir. What am I going to do? Force it. Uh. I cannot force it. Ma. Right. The growth rate slow down. Now, this one, I make it 40%. I just try. Uh. This is actually very high. You know, I don't know whether they can keep it up or not. The free cash flow, uh, that one. 40% free cash flow margin But it is actually a very highly profitable business lah. Okay, highly profitable I think some people bought this one Bought uh, Palantir because of the 40% uh, free cash flow margin The recent result, they saw that Oh, free cash flow margin is 40% man uh, Then they start buying the, the stock Right And yeah, I don't know what can happen. Uh. Let's see lah. Let's see how it goes lah. Let's see how it goes lah. But this one is assuming a lot lah. To be fair, I think five percent is more normal lah after ten years. So I think the intrinsic value can change to ten dollars. Uh. Okay. This is net asset value. This is only the liquid one lah. The the current asset minus current liability. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's about there lah, I would say $10 to $15 lah. Everything depends on the perpetual growth rate After 10 years Okay How how much can the free cash flow grow? Not the revenue, but the free cash flow Let, let, later we see lah. Later we all see. We don't know, right? It's only 10 years later then happened. 